66 as you went west from St. Louis. Area of the giant Beerstein. Uh, and on west of there, the, uh, Route 66 goes through Cambrian Age rocks. The Cambrian period ended about 500 million years ago. That's 500 million years is a half a billion years. And um, I didn't know it at the time, but uh, a few years later, I would find a number of fossils in uh, chert concretions and chert beds uh, in the Sullivan and Bourbon area. And uh, a few decades before that, uh, geologists at the Missouri School of Mines had combed uh, the same area and had uh, discovered a number of uh, fossils which uh, were new for the first time, and they were mollusks uh, like you see here. For instance, uh, these are a variety of very early snails, uh, very early uh, marine snails that lived uh, about 500 million years ago. Uh, these are a type of animal called a cephalopod. Uh, cephalopods are relatives to the octopus and the squid, which are modern cephalopods. And in uh, uh, strata at, at the very beginning of the Artovician period uh, are found the fossils of uh, cephalopods in considerable diversity uh, in the um, uh, Sullivan uh, Bourbon area and on west of Rolla, uh, around Arlington and along the Big Piney River as well. Here's some other Ozark fossils. These are called monoplicophorans. Uh, they are a uh, segmented mollusk that uh, uh, in the uh, literature that was written by so the, the early workers on the Ozark fossils, they consider, the, consider these as primitive snails. But uh, they were later found to be a uh, distinct molluscan class, uh, molluscan class uh, in which the soft parts of the animal are segmented. And this was found by actually dredging monoplic offerings from the deep, deep sea uh, uh, trenches in the uh, mid-1950s. Route 66 snaked around through Rolla, Missouri, went right through Rolla, and passed the big smokestack of the Missouri School of Mines. Uh, I, west of Rolla, the route got very hilly, and uh, more of this red sandstone showed up, more of the bright red sandstone, which was a prelude to what we would see on the Colorado Plateau in western New Mexico and Arizona. Highway 66 west of Rollo was windy, and I remember bluffs, lots of bluffs. I always liked bluffs and rocks, and there were lots of both. Crossing the Ozarks of Missouri would be some of the oldest rocks on Route 66. Sullivan and Arlington, Missouri, on the Big Piney River, would be the oldest of these rocks. The next place we would see rocks of this great age would be around Albuquerque and within the Grand Canyon itself. West of Lebanon, Missouri, as you approach the Springfield Plateau, was a choice item in the form of the garbage, cafe, garbage can cafe and truck stop. Uh, it was located on the north side of Route 66, and uh, uh, right by the uh, kind of roaring, rolling prairie uh, developed on, uh, I think, lower Artovician dolomites. You're still well in the Ozarks, but you're uh, getting ready to climb up on the Springfield Plateau, which uh, is just to the west. 